I'm Dan. Welcome to Freaky. We've got another wicked show for you this week. A story about a creepy swing, a story about a kid who gets some awesome powers. But our first story is about a bit of an urban mystery. You see heaps of shopping trolleys, like this one, abandoned miles from any supermarket all the time. Some supermarkets even use helicopters to find them because so many disappear. So how do they get here? Do they just get stolen by weird shopping trolley joyriders? Or is there another reason? Trolleys, they have a mind of their own, don't they? Yeah. Someone move my trolley. Thank <laughs> you. 
It's okay. Wow. You really do travel in hoods. Hurt their feelings, would you? Mm. <laughs> hey, hey, what? Hey, hey. What? what have you done? Uh, you can't hurt a trolley's feelings. Uh, I think you're already dead. Jerry! Uh, oh. <laughs> Ever seen one of these old abandoned houses out in the country? They're normally used to store hay or shelter animals, and I never really used to think much about them. Until I heard this next story. Okay, you kids go for a bit of an explore. We'll be back in one hour for dinner. Thanks, Mum. Be careful. There's lots of ways you could hurt yourself. I know, I grew up around here. And have fun. Gracia. Come on, can you go faster? Faster than you. living here. If there is, they really need to redecorate. Bean? 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 Boo! <laughs> Ooh, Grace is scared. I am not. I wonder who used to live here. Hey, there's a swing out there. Hello? Say hello. Hi, my brother and I were just... Are you okay? I'm fine. That was so weird. What happened? I was on the swing and... This kid... Ah! 
that is weird looking. It's about my age. He came up behind me, grabbed the swing and pulled it right back. It was like he was trying to make me fall off or something. He, he kept shouting, I'll get you back for what you did, Simon. You're going to die. I, I remember you running up and that's all. Did you say Simon? Yeah, weird, eh? And he looked so angry. Where'd he go? There was no one there. It was like the swing was being pulled back by the invisible man or something. But I saw him. There was no one there, Ben. Let's not tell Mum and Dad about this, okay? They wouldn't believe us anyway. And they'd freak if they knew you fell off that thing. Our secret? Our secret. What are you doing here? I'm sorry, we were just having a look around. My brother fell off the swing out the back. The swing? I could tell you a thing or two about that swing. Come with me, kids. I'm sorry, we didn't think anyone lived here. Oh, no one does, really. I'm the caretaker. No one's lived here for years. Not since... Not since little Billy and his dad. Billy meant everything to his father. He really loved that boy. Then one day, Billy was outside, playing on that swing with his mate. And his dad heard screaming and ran outside. And he found Billy at the bottom of the bank. Dead. But his dad passed away soon after that. Died of a broken heart. Terrible tragedy. That's awful. Yeah. Look, I'm sorry we bothered you. We have to be getting home. Bye. You kids, you better stay away from this place. It's dangerous. Him. And it's the kid I saw. It's a spooky old house. You two didn't go in there, did you? No. No. Who used to live there, Simon? Simon! Simon! Too long ago for you to remember. I used to play with the boy who lived there. And something bad happened. What? A terrible accident. It's a long time ago. He's looking pretty good, Nathan. They don't make me feel so good. Nathan tells me he's being bullied. Really? Is that right, Nathan? You could say that. And what sort of things are they doing? Don't get anything caught in your teeth. Yeah, you don't want to derail the train. Oh, 
Well, just a bit, isn't it? I'm sure it's not that bad, Nathan. I don't know why Mum doesn't believe me. Don't worry, mate. I believe you. Right, um, another three weeks and that should be fine. I don't think you'll have any problems after that. And you let me go to class? How about I tell everyone that you're trying to bribe me? The more you run, race face, the worse it gets. Mr. Green there, please? Speaking. It's Nathan here. Uh, young Nathan, I thought I might be hearing from you. Uh, what if he does my braces? Does he like it? It's a bit scary. But kind of helpful too, don't you think? I understand how you feel. I spent a year and a half being hassled myself at school for wearing braces. Really? I vowed to do something about it, so I spent ten years studying dentistry and orthodontics. And then I did a further two years in um, laser technology. A mate of mine had the same problem. He was called Four Eyes. He's helping people too. Really? Now these braces are very powerful. Be careful how you use them. Don't abuse your new power. Self-defense only. Okay. Sure. Good. Go away! Back! Come get it! Get back! Right, people. Today we're going to begin our unit on poetry. during a rugby game? <laughs> Maybe a few too many people watching them. Oh yeah, I guess. Hey, Four Eyes! You're not running late, are you? <laughs> no. You sure? Hate the teacher to find out you have been working. Let's get him, boys. What's happening? I don't know. The mate of mine had the same problem. He was called Four Eyes. He's helping people too. Oh no! I 
wish I had glasses like that guy. I could get back at that dentist. Don't get me wrong, dentists do an important job, but do they have to use a drill? I'll see you next time. Keep away from me. This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.